All right, here we are in FTL. I'm gonna show you the basics of Qi Engine. My name is Ted. So here we go. I'm going to click here to attach the to the process of the game. So we're we're going uh, with FTL. So we're gonna change the fuel amount to a uh, higher amount. So we're gonna do 16 uh, because we know it's 16 right here. So we'll do the exact value, four bytes, first scan. We found a lot of values. Let's change that amount to 18. So we're looking for something that changed from 16 to 18 and only two values. Cool. So we'll double click them, add them to our list, and then we will do uh, changes to like 50. And cool, our fuel is now 50. And we can change this to whatever we want. This value also changed with it, so it's probably some kind of display value or something along those lines. If I change it, it uh, has no effect. So it's probably a display value. So now we're gonna hit these, click delete on them. We're gonna do a new scan, and we're gonna try to change this shots per charge on this laser to a higher number. So to do that, we'll need a uh, value that is near it in memory. So the only thing I can think of that I can actually control here is the the uh, charge amount on the weapon represented by this bar. So first let's scan for a, okay, let's change the value type to all because I don't know exactly what uh, the charge rate will be. Um, let's do a unknown initial, let's do a uh, first scan. So we found a lot of values. Um, so now we're gonna change this to increased value because I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna turn this on and let it charge. And as it charges, I'm gonna look for values that are increasing from scan to scan. So I'm gonna turn it on, increased value, increased value, increased value. And just keep doing that as it increases to, uh, and then stop when it, before it uh, stops increasing. And then I'm gonna turn it off and then look for an exact value of zero because it's a, it, is, it is at zero right now. So uh, let's do that. So we found these, all these. So now let's do the same thing with the increasing uh, value. So let's just let it go, let it increase. Uh, okay, so uh, it looks like these are all doing, let's change this to zero. And I don't see any actual zero values, which is uh, alarming. So I think uh, sometimes you'll just, you'll just get a bad scan. That's okay, just try again. So we're gonna do um, value type all, and we're gonna do unknown initial, do first scan. And we're going to um, turn this on and do increased value and let it let it uh, build a little bit and then let it build a little bit and then uh, we'll bring it back down to zero and then we'll do next scan so it's at zero just uh, find anything at zero that's not that's staying at zero so these are approximately zero um, so let's change do this again increase value let it increase uh, let it increase let it increase and then um, go back down to zero and then we'll do the same thing increase uh, let it increase and then scan let it increase and then scan increase scan increase scan increase scan okay so we're narrowing it down sometimes this can be a little bit tedious let's do decreased um, okay so cool we're narrowed it down to only 11 values nice so well, um, now we're going to do a, we're just going to narrow it down a bit more, increased value, increased value. So it looks like these are, these are our, um, the best we could do. So we're going to select these and add them to our, our list. And now I'm going to change these and see what kind of effects they have. So I'm going to, I'm going to pause the game, change this to like 20. So it changed to here. Let's try to change it to 50, 60. So it this does look like it has some kind of effect. Let's change this to nine thousand. Okay, so we found some kind of value that affects the the charge, and it looks like these are all in the same area of memory. So we could just pick any of these and go to browse this memory region to find our shots per charge. So while it's tr um, while this these values are changing in the memory viewer, you can see um, the red the red uh, parts of the memory viewer going off. So um, what we wanna do is look for a two that is in this area. If you want, uh, you can leave it in hex, but I'm just gonna change it to uh, display. I'm gonna right click anywhere, uh, do display type four by decimal. So it makes it a little bit easier for me um, to find. Okay, so I see this two. Let's see if it's near 
the uh, changing values. So it looks like the changing values are in this area. So it looks like this is the only uh, two that's near the area that I can see right now. So I'm gonna try changing this to like uh, some ridiculous amount, like 80 or something. All right, so we have 80 here. And now uh, we see that the shots per charge displayed here does not change. However, that's probably because this is a static uh, item text. So to uh, test out our change, we should find a enemy to fight. Um, so let me quickly do that. Um, and then we can test out um, our weapon. Uh, to see if it shoots uh, like 30 or like 80 instead of 2. Okay, so um, we're going to change this charge amount to uh, to a high... Okay, actually, I think that does not work well. Um, let's just let it charge and fire. And yes, that is way more than two lasers. So they're going to be absolutely obliterated by the single burst that is still continuing um, even after the enemy was destroyed. So it looks like our change took effect and those are the basics of cheat engine.